Hey guys, Bill not here on the Mel Matt Show. Hey guys, man. Well, we've got a big show today. We're going to go through the best of 2011, showcasing a lot of the great bands that we've played over the past uh, year. Uh, and if you're talking about a few new ones as well, we're also going to be seeing a cartoon. A very special debut from Hep Steve and Thirsty John. We're going to see a very special segment with a sway. Yeah, massive show. If you guys ready for it, it's going to kick fucking ass. Melmat here on the Melmat Show for the best of 2011 segment. Let's get started with Bastard Fest, which uh, was a touring festival here in Australia. It was a very hot, extruciating day for sweat, tears and pain. But no one really cared about that in the Sydney show. Everyone was there for the bands. There were bands playing such the likes of Ouroboros, Blood Dust, and Psychroptic. Speaking of which, Psychroptic do have an album coming out in February called The Inherited Repression. Now this is Blood Duster with their classic porn store stiffy. on their album launch and playing a heap of gigs and get some great reviews of their uh, latest album, Force Fed Enlightenment. Uh, they're actually playing with Abzu in Melbourne uh, coming up very soon. And um, yeah, we've got some footage for you guys uh, playing at the Lucky Australian in St. Mary's. Check it out now.
Well, the X Factor's on the news. This is not normal. It's a TV show. Why is it on the news? It's not normal. When I grew up, the Price is Right wasn't on the news. No, this is not news. This is rubbish. And I'm here to tell you people, being English, the X Factor, what have you done? You should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Disturbing. You should stop it. I know all countries around the world now have got these kind of stupid shows, but you, especially America, they're too far gone. Doesn't matter about them. <laughs> and you, what are you up to? You can't have the X Factor. You can't watch the X Factor. This is England! You made Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Venom, Motorhead, Def Leppard, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, The Rolling Stones, The Who, The Beatles, The Smiths, The Cure, The Dam, The Jam, The Police, The Sex Pistols, The Clash, Peter Gabriel, Kate Bush, Jarvis Cocker, David Bowie, Queen, Pink Floyd, Radiohead, Supertramp, Chemical Brothers and The Prodigy. And if you're watching The X Factor after a resume like that, I'm just telling you, you are a bit of a bastard. Absolutely glorious. Hope you have an excellent, excellent time. See you later. Cheers. Hey guys, Mel Matt here on the Mel Matt Show for the best of 2011 segments. Bora Boris. The bear have been quite busy in 2011. They have released an album called Glorification of the Myth, which is in the veins of Megadeth Meets Testament with that fresh death sort of sound. They've uh, toured with Morbid Angel. Very cool big that one. And they've also played a heap of other shows as well. Let's check out some footage from their Sydney show for the album release. This is Disembodied Mine.
here in Melbourne. Normally, all I've got nothing to say is just bad shit about this fucking stupid city. Like their fucking hook turns, stupid fucking pots. You know, the fucking list goes on. They're fucking AFL shit. But mate, this time, they fucking impressed me big time. Man, just say you fucking piss. Like fucking a corner in. No, not in fucking Melbourne, man. Fucking Melbourne. This is the shit. Fucking right here. See? Now this is what I'm fucking talking about. You just fucking piss on the street. Now the only problem you get is when you finish, you know, you're still pissed. And you want to come out and you fucking step right out in the edge of the fucking road. No, it's not the safest road here. There's a fucking brewing idea. In fucking Sydney, wake up yourself and put some fucking toilets on the side of the street. Don't you hate it when you go down to Melbourne and you ask for a schooner? The cunts don't know what you're talking about. We only sell pots down here. That's what they all say. Fuck you, you can't go get fucked. Well, if I ever see you Melbourne cunts up here in Sydney, I'll kick your fucking asses, you stupid Melbourne cunts. Keep away from my city. Your city's fucked. Fucking Melbourne cunts. Stupid Melbourne cunts. Fucking Melbourne cunts. Stupid Melbourne cunts. Thank you, hey. Guys, now I'm out here. The events are what more can we say? One of the hardest working bands in the metal scene at the moment in Australia. We've got an album out now called The Void, which is available on the website. Free download. How cool is that? They've been touring with uh, Deicide over the past year in 2011, so I'll uh, be just checking some clues from the. Uh, this is a song called Second.
Come on! King sick of Hep Steve. The prick gave me Hep 7. I'm gonna go around there and rip his asshole out. Fucking Hep 7. Hey Steve, you massive cunt. What are you going on about, sir? I just went to the doctor. You gave me Hep 7. You're a filthy little black weasel. How did I give it to you? It's not my fault. I ought to ram your head up Sandra Silly's festy cunt. Well you shouldn't have slapped your bits all over my toilet, man. I fucking didn't, you turd. You slobbered your knob in my fucking breakfast. Oh don't be a sookie la la. I always like to share with my friends. Well look out testicle gobbler, cause I'm gonna fucking get you. Don't be like that, thirsty John. Why don't you get yourself a drink? Why don't you get yourself fucked? Ruins! We have been uh, a bit quiet as of late, aside from touring with the Inventor in early 2011. They're going to have a very busy year this year, in 2012, they're going to be playing with Abzu for the national tour. Let's see some of your loss. It's all about the riff with Cholo, who's actually singing for Gang of Chains. This is Australia. Cholo. Fucking yeah, man. I'm a fucker. Good to be hey, back, man. Boy. Good to see you again, Matt. Yeah, you too, man. Awesome. You too. Ah, oh, awesome. You been, been all right? Yeah, it's been good, been good. Yeah, Just tracking uh, the sounds of then, which is really, this is Australia, but uh, it's been good. Yeah, really awesome. A great track from life and um, honoured to come down and lay some vocals and hopefully I didn't fuck it up. So yeah, I think it's been good. So what, what actually made you want to do this track? What, how, how did you actually get drawn to this track? Um, I've known Life for a little while, not, not a long time, but a while. I've known of Life for quite a while, but I've only got to know him quite well recently, in the last year or so. And, uh, you know, obviously I knew the guy's a pretty pro muso, and, um, and he's, he's sort of taken a liking to St. Lucifer and given me a lot of support there with the new project I'm, I'm doing there yeah. on my own. And, uh, and through that we've been chatting a fair bit, and then he, I sort of saw the stuff coming up about this album, and and then look at the guys he had playing, and it's a who's who of Australian rock and metal, and it's just amazing, I'm like, wow. Um, and talking to life, I kind of hinted at him that, I, you know, if you've got a spot for a singer, you need me, I'm, I'm ready. Of course. And uh, damn lucky for me, he said, mate, you know what, I, I want you on the album. And so, fuck, I was like, beauty, good. What bands have you worked in in the past? 
Um, yeah, man. Uh, probably the Harlots was my first probably major band, which was kind of known as the Candy Harlots before I joined them, and then we became the Harlots. We dropped the Candy, yeah. and uh, I learned a lot from those guys, and still love those guys. A lot of respect from them. They're playing with Melody Black now, and uh, after that, it was Beware of the Dog. I formed with a few mates, and. We're still sort of going now. We sort of took a break while I was doing a few other things and now we're kind of just warming up again. Um, did the Wear of the Dog for quite a while and had some minor success and then uh, Pain Division asked me to join and that was awesome. Toured Japan and learned a lot from Stu Marshall and the guys in that band and Jay Rami on drums and all these sort of guys. And uh, after that, well, I then had a bit of downtime and uh, did the St. Lucifer project. So probably the Harlots, Beware of the Dog, Pain Division and St. Lucifer is my reason. Is there any advice that you give to any aspiring musicians out there? Um, Obviously you've had a bit of experience. You know what I'd say, I'd really say stick to your guns and just stick hard to it and believe in yourself because I've never been the most talented muso I've known by a long way, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a brilliant guitar player. I've learned to be a solid rhythm player and, and a, probably an above average rhythm player because I play from the heart and I've, I've worked hard at it and, and vocally I'm not, a, I'm not a great singer but I've learned to do what I do well I think. I think that's the thing. and and. You know, I think I've spoken to other young musos and said, yeah, you gave me that advice, do what you do well. And I think that's the only thing because most, most musos I know are better than I am, you know, in the better. But I've got a lot of heart and soul and that's taken me probably further than a lot of the guys I know without sounding cool. And so if you, if you stick to it and you really enjoy what you do, you, you can't go wrong. You know? The uh, sort of outlook at the moment of the uh, Australian metal scene at this present time. Right now, man, I mean, geez, I tell you, I think it's as good as it's ever been. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of good bands, you know, they're really awesome bands, and the young guys are surprising me. Just when you think, oh, it's only us older blokes that can play good metal, I mean, you see some of the young bands coming through, and you go, hang on, fuck, these guys are pretty good. So it's pleasing to me to see young guys are really doing something. They're doing some pretty original stuff. They're not just copying Metallica or Megadeth or trying to be Slayer. They're doing their own thing within it, you know. Be influenced by bands, sure, but stick, do your own thing. And you know, I'm really, really impressed with the level of musicianship and, and the heart and soul. I think Australia's got a metal scene that's up there with anywhere in the world. We're probably just not recognised for it. Yeah, right, absolute man. privilege, man. No, it's been awesome, Guys, man. Joel and man, Joel and how, man, doing fucking... It's all about it's fucking all about riff, the riff, man. fucking riff. This will be yeah. all about the riff, man. When this guy does, this is Australia by Gang and Chang, man. Keep it real, keep it seen, then keep it fucking metal. Welcome back to the Mill Matt Show. Frank and Bach have just released an album a couple months ago. And of course, the end of all the theory. They've been tweeting extensively in support of the release. Let's check out some footage from the stag that the Metal Map Show crew did at film. This is Gold Complex. Yeah. 
guys, you're back on the Metal Matt Show with Metal Mass. Now, as much as 2001 has been a great year, a bit of a shit year. There's one of a few bands breaking up. Uh, Days End, Switchblade, MM9, Five Star Prisons, or just to name a couple. But never fear, guys, uh, the scene is thriving at the moment. There's some awesome bands to check out as well. Uh, you want to check out some Dragons Call, Melody Black, uh, just to name a couple. St. Lucifer, there's heaps coming up. Now, um, let's go. I'm going to the past right now from a band who actually uh, established themselves as Australia's the best metal band, uh, touring extensively in support of their releases, going through a couple of lineup changes, but uh, making one big impact on the Australian metal scene. This is Days End on their last ever gig. Best of 2011 segment coming to a wrap right now. Thank you so much for watching this segment. It's an absolute cool time doing this. Stay tuned for us and more episodes in the future. We've got a big, big future ahead of this show. And we've got some crazy, crazy things coming up. So stay tuned for that. Peace out.